Hi, and welcome to another video by OML Embroidery, as always, sponsored by OMLpatches.com. Today, I got my hands on a new embroidery software. It's not new, but it's new to me, and it's called Embrilliance. And I really think this software is absolutely brilliant. Um, and we're going to do kind of an unboxing. Obviously, we don't unbox it because it's all digital. However, we're going to start at the beginning and what you see and what you get. I also decided to start with one of the lower levels and I'm going to work my th way through learning this software um, with you. I'm going to be able to pick up on it quite quickly because it is similar. I use um, two other embroidery softwares for daily digitizing in my work. Um, so I, I thought this would be a cool way of introducing you to a new software. And I'm going to point out the things that I like and perhaps some of the things I don't like. The first thing that I absolutely love and I find stunning is that this, as you can see on my screen, is a native Mac program. It comes in Mac and PC, but it's not... Mac where you load it through parallels and go through PC and do it that way. It's native to Mac. So it's just, look here, it's just a desktop. We just add it on. Um, and I think that's fantastic. So you can work seamlessly in Mac. I've been working with it all day and it seems to be working absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So when you download the program and you, you buy it and you download it and you get your codes, um, you, you work with the software as you normally would any other software that you're downloading to your Mac. You get a DMG file, you double click on it, it's going to go through the install, you know, three clicks, five minutes and you're done. Then when you open it, this is what you're looking at. So I'm going to explain to you some of the different parts of it and what you can do. This up here is the main up here, so way up here with your Apple, is the main menu. This is your toolbar and this is your tool pane. So these are the basic things that you're going to be working with. We also um, over here have the, you know, this is kind of normal stuff, your object lists. And there, this is your property box, so you're going to have more details to do and everything. What I really like about here, the pictures are nice and big. It still looks very Mac-y to me. But you can lock and unlock your objects. And you can view and unview, but locking them I think is really cool. And it's big enough to actually see and we might actually use them. Um, you can pick your hoops, you can do just about anything you could think of. So let's go through a few of the basic things. Um, and again, I found it very easy to set up. It was really quick and there weren't any problem. So the, the first thing you need to do is go to help and you need to click here and you need to put in your serial numbers. Then you have to do a simple restart and then you're done and you're ready to go. They uh, also have a demo version which you can use quite easily. Um, same sort of downloading thing um, and it's a full version except for you can't save anything so you can work effectively in it um, and it shows you their different modules, the stitch module one and two which we are going to get later but for now we're just going to start at the very beginning so the first thing looking at this, um, it's simple and easy to use. I think they've taken a lot of the guesswork and a lot of the complication out of um, doing embroidery. Okay, so getting around um, is pretty easy. Basic setup, you get your hoops going on. Millimeters are inches. I always prefer inches, so I do that. Um, a couple things, this is your zooming. I really like that as well. I think that's a lot easier. Um, and this is really kind of handy. If we had anything written in here, you can zoom in and you can move around by using this. I find this very handy. And if you really like this, you can just, sorry, that click on the compass again. You can press the pin and it's going to pin it there. So depending on how you like to do anything like that. So under view is the first place we usually check, manage view. 
Object View, which is on the right-hand side, Properties View, and Status Bar. The Status Bar is down at the bottom. So, so if you don't want to see these, you can easily click off and um, get rid of them. I prefer all the information. So you can here, Metric, and if you unclick it, then it's going to be um, Imperial, which is Inches. Uh, if you don't like the grid, you can take that off. I actually really prefer the grid. It helps. I guess we can go over some of these things. Open, um, save, print. It has great printing functions too. Um, so you can uh, copy and paste. I guess that one's copy and this one is paste. Um, undo and redo, which we all know those are very handy. 3D, I always like looking at, uh, most of the time looking at things in 3D. Um, magnifier, or you can use this. I, I really like this. I've been using that quite a bit today because I, I thought it was a whole lot of fun. If you need to measure anything, your measuring tool is nice and handy right there. Stitch simulator, so that would be uh, to watch it stitch out. We all know that we need to use that um, for everything. Select object, so that's basically just keeping your your pointer. Um, show the preferences window. We can we can do that. And this is how you, um, so it's under preferences. So this is how you would set up your hoops. So you can pick, you can add different ones. I mean, that's fine. You can set up your grids if you like lines or dots. I prefer lines um, and how you want them. And you can also change the background color. This is where you do it. You can snap to grid. I usually prefer to keep that off because I would prefer to manually align them. Calibrate your screen, you should always do that. So um, move the slider till the line is two inches long or five centimeters if you have metric checked. So that's what we did before. So measure that and make sure that's all calibrated. Mouse wheel, you have your choice whether you want it to adjust zoom or scrolls window. Check for updates. Well, we want it to do it automatically. Um, ghost mode. Um, that is when you select something. If you have ghost mode on, if you select something, the other elements will fade out. And I really like this. It makes your selection stand up like jump out it's nice and bright and clear and I really like that so I I'm going to keep ghost mode off on because I think it's awesome um, PES we like PES that's what I use for three of my five machines stitch format you can go and fill these up so file options remove overlaps when saving saving stitch files probably handy uh, I kind of like that Treat objects labeled applique as filed. That's fine. Run when jumps are small, so it'll change it over. Ensure ties surrounding jumps. So if you want to make sure you have uh, tie stitches in there. Um, I'm just going to leave it that as the default that it came with. I may change it after. I'm not really sure yet. So when saving, remove overlaps. Oh, sorry. We just did that, didn't we? Mwah. Um, automatically save all documents so you can set up the time you want it to save every uh, why don't we do every five minutes that might be too much five or ten I guess our um, Tajima does it every ten so why don't we make it ten um, printing you know you always need to print stuff um, this one actually makes it and I know Ember does it as well we're not comparing the two these are this is Mac and PC so apples and oranges um, you can print to uh, cutter files, and this one makes it very simple to do that. And, and this just, you know, you can add the details if you want color sequence. So it's whatever you prefer on that. Uh, set up your printer. Go ahead and do that. This I'm adjustments, I'm, I'm going to leave at default until I play around with it a bit more and see if I can come up with something that needs, needs to be changed. But for right now, I'm just leaving it at that. So basically, that's how you set it up. It's, like I said, to download it, it, it takes no time to set it up, pick your hoop, 
and look, you're ready to go. So let's do something simple so I could just show you what it looks like. You, you click on the lettering, and I was a little bit confused about this, but it really isn't confusing. You click on letters, so it starts off at color, and I was like, how oh, do I change it? But you just look, and it says letters, so you can change what you want. Embroidery. Set it and it changes and it looks fantastic. Here it comes with I think 12 fonts so you can pick um, a groovy font. What are we gonna pick? They're all kind of purpley which is cool. Yeah see that looks great. Left center alignment. You can right from here you can skew your lettering. Look at how quickly and easy, easily it does that. Space if you want to change the kerning in it. Um, that is a really quick and easy way of doing it. Word spacing, if you want the space between the words. I like these sliders, I tell you. If you had more than one line, you could change the line spacing, but we don't. Now up here, you can change um, the baseline on it. So look, if we click here on circle, place it bottom, let go, place on top. That's a perfect curve. Uh, I mean, that's what, type it and two clicks and you have it up perfectly. If you want to change the radius of it, that's, that's really simple. Oops, I went too far. Something like that looks really good. Um, it, it's amazing. So this is filled with tatami stitch, which is a basic fill stitch. You can get all fancy, but I think this is a bit too thin for doing anything like that. You can change the underlay. You can change the density. I, I'm going to leave it just for now. Um, what about colors? Well, this one's pretty easy to change the colors. You can pick your thread brand. brand um, and it's going to pull all the colors from there, which I thought was great. We used Madeira, so we're going to do that. And look, it shows up all the colors, all the Madeira colors. Um, if you know the number, which we tend to, you can sort it by color or you can sort it by number. So then you can just, uh, makes it a lot easier to look for all those Madeira numbers. And you know there's a lot of them. Click OK. There you go. How easy was that? Click, click, click. And you know what? It looks fantastic. So we can play around with lettering um, a little more next time and get into the nitty gritty of this program at the level that I've got. Um, but I just wanted to do an unboxing and show you how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to um, get right into the work. You can start working with your um, embroidery files immediately. You can merge them in, add your lettering, off you go, save as, take it to the machine. Super quick and super easy. Um, so thank you for watching, and there will be more Embrilliance videos to come along. Um, I'm going to be teaching you as I learn, and every, every day or every other day we're going to go through different things until we've covered everything that you can do with this level, and then I'll be moving on to the next level. I am really excited about some of the add-ons that they have. Um, I think they're actually really cool. There's something density doctor. There's something that um, you can see all the icons of all your embroidery files. This is all in Mac. Again, you can do it in PC. And what I'm going to do is load this onto my PC and uh, see how well it works and see how different they are. Um, I much prefer to work on Mac and there just really isn't any other programs that you can work like this. So I'm finding it completely enjoyable. So you can download a demo version of it and work along with me and um, we can continue checking it out. As always, um, please like our video if you want to see more. Subscribe to our channel. Um, that encourages us to keep making more videos. It's a shout out to us saying, I liked your video, keep doing more. We uh, sometimes need that encouragement, so absolutely fantastic. So make sure you like and share. Happy digitizing and uh, keep calm and digitize on. Thanks.